It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, today is a Friday. You have found me at the end of another work week. And today, for our Masterpiece Friday video, I have something quite special for you. Uh, this is going to be a little meta today, but that's okay, y'all. We've done this a few times, and it's been quite illuminating and fun each time time. Today, I am going to go back and revisit what has become my most popular reaction here on YouTube. Uh, last month, in our fan favorites, we were exploring our favorite televised performances, and it was a wonderful countdown. It was an epic video, y'all. I mean, check this out. We had music by Genesis, by Pink Floyd, King Crimson, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, The Who, Jimi Hendrix was in there, The Doors was in there, George Harrison, Paul Simon, and more. It was a who's who of really great performers of the last 50 years. And one of the suggestions that was in the mix for that video was the disturbed cover of Simon and Garfunkel's Sound of Silence, the live performance that Disturbed did on the Conan O'Brien show a few years ago. Well, that submission ended up not quite making our video last month, but it got on my mind, this reaction that I filmed uh, to Disturbed a few years ago. And so uh, when I went back and looked a week or two ago at this reaction from Disturbed's Sound of Silence that I did. Now it's been, oh gosh, over three years ago. It was really early on in the Daily Doug, y'all. Episode 69, filmed all the way back on February 25th, 2021. It was only my 16th reaction to popular music, and it was my first time hearing Disturbed at all. And on that occasion, I watched their official video of their cover of The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. And uh, I thought it would be fun to go back and take a look at that one because I noticed that this reaction is just about ready to hit 2 million views. 2 million views by itself, y'all. It's an amazing thing for our little channel here on the internet. And uh, I've really uh, been thankful to all of the fans for watching this one. I think it's a great cover and it's deserving, y'all. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna go back and re-watch myself reacting to this song. It's gonna be a little weird, but I think it's gonna be fun. And then we're going to go back and hear the live performance that Disturbed gave of this cover on the Conan O'Brien program. I'm curious to see if they did anything different with it, if they changed the key of it, or what nuances came out in the live performance that didn't come out in the studio version that the band recorded. But before we get into the music, y'all, I am very happy to again welcome NordVPN as the sponsor of today's video. NordVPN is currently extending an exclusive offer to my viewers, and I'm excited about this, y'all. Every purchase of a two-year plan from NordVPN, which is already their best value, will get you an extra bonus of four months on your subscription. This applies to all of their plans, standard, plus, and complete. And this is only available, friends, if you click on the special link uh, in the top of this video's description. And uh, I am really excited to be back working with NordVPN. I am a happy customer and their products provide me with a great peace of mind. They have the fastest VPN on the planet and by far the most servers for us to connect to. They protect me while I am online, but they don't track or share what I do while I am online. And that's really a great comfort to me because I spend so much time online. Uh, they allow me to connect virtually around the world. And that is my favorite feature. Check this out, y'all. Uh, if I am traveling anywhere around the world, if I'm over in London, let's say, I can connect 
my VPN to London and access whatever I need to there. But if I need to get back home, I can connect virtually from anywhere back to uh, anywhere in the country, including my home area here, which is right near New York. Uh, NordVPN is a great company and they have great products. And again, I am uh, excited to be working with them. Any purchase of their two year plans gets you a bonus of four months. This is an exclusive offer and you only get it if you click on my special link. It's nordvpn.com slash Doug Helvering. And they always offer a 30 day money back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied. Okay, y'all, with that being said, let's get into this music, shall we? As I said, <clears throat> this reaction is from February of 2021, and I'm a bit nervous to rewatch this, y'all, uh, because I don't know what I said. I don't remember exactly what I said, and I'll be curious to see if I agree with 2021 Doug. I'm not sure that I will, actually. I'm a different person now after three plus years of doing this discovery this journey of discovery here on the daily doug with all this great music so i'll be curious to see what i think of what i said from three years ago so let's get into it here is my reaction of sound of silence from disturbed here we go disturbed singing the sound of silence. hey i know that hat here we go <laughs> Makes sense that it would start with silence. I think that's a good way to start. Starts with silence. Same glasses, same hat, same beard. Oh, that's a sharp minor. Different headphones. Darkness, my I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly. It seems when I was I was surprised at the and range and just taking it in. That was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of that's an interest. Uh, we'll go back to the second verse in a second, but okay, let's okay, stop. I'm pretty sure that's F sharp minor, which uh, I was expecting him to have a high voice, like um, uh, like Art Garfunkel. By the way, Art Garfunkel is an American institution. So is Paul Simon. So to even attempt this, I'm on the right uh, track take, so take far. Take some cajones, right? But uh, <laughs> as a choral bass. I love hearing guys with rich resonant sounds yes. singing in this lower baritone or bass range. Makes it a lot easier for folks like me to sing along with. It's why I love listening to Johnny Cash. Um, but I think it's also why they moved it up to F sharp. Mm. Just because you move a key up doesn't mean that you have a higher voice. So he's singing in the lower octave, at yeah. least for this first verse, uh, from, from where uh, Simon and Garfunkel sang it. So he may have not had all those low notes to go down to D sharp minor or even E minor, but F sharp minor might be where he felt comfortable to uh, to have that. I think that's low a good note there. Sound. Uh, this is awesome so far. I love that piano work with it uh, because we're used to hearing acoustic guitar with it, right? You raise the key mm, to get it in the right key that you want, even if you're singing it down. color to the cold and down when my eyes were stained by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touched the sound it's really beautiful of silence that's awesome so he stopped it again. The 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 warmth of the recording is is laudable, right? You've got real piano. I think that's that sounds like a real grand piano and real strings, and it's a real warm, intimate, powerful sound. Uh, I am digging 
this cover, y'all. Good stuff. This is also before I got our new microphone. Okay. So he's going to the upper octave. So our sound is different now. Does he have those notes? Does he have the notes? People talking without speaking. People hearing without listening. People writing songs. And voices never share. It's great. That's awesome. Okay, that's Quit just stopping the music. I thought it was going to be like forming notes or something. I love that they're like uh, rescuing their instruments in the video. It's I a don't really do the stopping and starting like this and anymore, y'all. And the close-up on the singer, he's intense. His eyes are intense. Yeah, he is. Fools and I, you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Silence like a cancer grows. Great line. Right over that high note. In the signs and the words. I gotta go back to that. This is no. I've been watching uh, what? the the video as well. So we've got where Duck. is that? I think it's here. So the band or the instrumentalists are on one side, and the uh, uh, the multitude, the people with their sheet music are on the other side, and there's a vast chasm between them. Um, I think it goes to the the overall meaning of the song, which we'll get to in a minute. But, okay, uh, it, that's that's a really interesting visual. That's a stoop, Doug, uh, and shot. Okay, on this. cool stuff. In the signs and the words on the prophets are written on the subway walls in tenement halls and whisper. there come the musicians making their way across the chasm the musicians will unite us yes they will yes great cover isn't it wait a minute they did if i ever lose my faith in you i need to listen to that i don't think i still uh, ever have maybe i did is. there they go well cool cool so I'm that's gonna, awesome <laughs> yes it is awesome i'm yeah. gonna stop doug there Thank you, Doug, from 2021. You did pretty well, didn't you? Um, I go on to say here, as I recall, that I didn't prefer the gruffness in his voice. And a lot of people got on to me and they're like, dude, the, it's disturbed. It's David Draymond. What are you talking about? It's great. And after three plus years, yeah, yeah. I was wrong. It's great. It's a great way for him to use the vocal ability that he brings to this song. Uh, I think I remember saying that, you know, he has shown that he's got the ability to sing these higher notes. The low notes are wonderful, but the higher he goes, he's got a real warmth and sonorous sound to his voice. And I thought, you don't need to go back and do all that, uh, that gruffness in it and adding that angst. But of course he doesn't have to, but he has the opportunity to, to bring weight and meaning and gravity to his vocal performance as only he can. And uh, after a few years of being and becoming 
more accustomed to hearing music like this, the hard rock and the metal and the prog and all of that. I don't mind it at all. In fact, I, I celebrate it. And so that goes to show you uh, how this is a continuous journey, y'all. Uh, so here, let's go back and take a look at this performance that they gave on the Conan O'Brien program. The performance itself is from March of 2016. And at the time, uh, Disturbed was promoting their sixth album, which is called Immortalized. And that's the album that includes this cover of uh, the Simon and Garfunkel uh, song. And it was one of their singles from the album. So it makes sense that they would do a performance here to highlight it. So let's go back and take a look at Disturbed live on the Conan O'Brien show doing their cover of The Sound of Silence. Here we go. Conan O'Brien. Please welcome Disturbed. <laughs> Right. I think I read that he was ill. Not in great voice here. We'll see. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Same key. Because F sharp minor. Vision softly creeping. Left it seems while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains Just a clarion, beautiful, in the sound open male vocal silence. He's obviously well trained In restless dreams I walked alone Simple Arrow piano. Streets of cobblestone. Neath the halo of a street lamp. I turn my collar to cold and damp. Hear the strings starting to creep in. As we stare by the flash of a neon light. It's split in the night. Touch the sound He's such a believable performer, isn't he? He seems and real connected. Lighter. He's doing this lighter in his vocals that I would have expected. Talking without speaking. He's floating it just a little. Here it's catching a little bit. What a great performance, especially if he's under the weather. Silence like a cancer Lovely use of the timpani. Now he's into it a little bit. To the neon god they made. Yeah. And the sign lashed out a hit spawning. And the words that it was for me. I love it. And the sign said the words of the prophets are written on the subway wall. Wow. And tenement.
Really phenomenal, isn't it? Really special performance. Yeah, that was great. And you know, it's interesting. I think that if you would ask David about that performance, he might say that he would want it back because he knows he can do it a little bit better. It's interesting hearing the, um, the studio version uh, right up against that live version. It's obvious that he's got the skills. The whole band has the skills and that they're worthy musicians and it's a great arrangement, all of that. It sounds like he was just under the weather in his voice when he goes up to those, uh, in those later voices, uh, to, to do the high intense singing in the studio version, he's full voice. You can hear it. He's going after it. He's in his, he's in as good a voice as he can be. And he's just going for it. And he's full voice. This one in the live performance, it's a little bit more clarion and it's a little bit brighter than vocally than in the studio version. And I think that's because he's got to give himself more space. He can't full voice it and use some of this gruffness in here because he's going to get caught uh, just because of the physiology of the instrument. And so you hear a little bit of a lift, a little bit of openness in the space uh, for his instrument, and you get a slightly different tone. It's beautiful. Which one do I like better? I'm not even going to say. I think they're both great. I think they're both great. I always love watching live performances, though, y'all, for little things like that. As a musician, the more you're on stage, the more that you're around musicians and around performances, you know that you hardly ever get a chance to give the perfect performance because there's always something going on. You might not feel well or you're run down or something else is going on. You might be distracted. It's difficult to be at 100% every single time. And uh, as a result, you get nuances in the performances. And it's interesting to me to watch that. I've done it for decades, y'all, because classical music, the idea is for different orchestras to perform the symphony the way that it was written. So it's interesting to hear how different uh, orchestras play, for instance, a Beethoven symphony slightly differently, different... Um, uh, recording techniques, different hall, maybe some different, uh, slightly different um, tempos and all that sort of stuff. It's fascinating to hear how the performances slightly differ. And so that's one of the reasons why I've really been into listening to live performances just as much as we listen to studio tracks. And what a, a accomplishment and powerful performance from Disturbed here. It's no uh, wonder why this clip has become the most viewed clip in the history of the Conan O'Brien program. Y'all, check that out. As I look at this here, it's got just about 150 million views. That's incredible, y'all. <clears throat> and uh, this particular uh, single from Disturbed, this cover, has become their biggest song since they released Down With The Sickness. And it's become one of their calling cards because they made it uh, their own. It's a classic song, I think originally from 1964. So it's celebrating, what, 60 years of being a song in our society uh, this year. And it still speaks to us, right? It speaks to us in the original version, but also through these wonderful covers like the one that Disturbed has done. It's a beautiful rendition of this classic song, a great song, and it shows its, shows its greatness uh, by its ability to be pliable and profound in a variety of musical styles, right? And uh, presentations. So that was fun, y'all. A little meta, but uh, it's always fun to go back and, and revisit an old reaction. I'll do it again sometime uh, when the uh, when the timing is right, but I thought today would be especially a good one for us to come back to a true masterpiece, The Sound of Silence, for a Masterpiece Friday, and go back and remember where I was at in February of 2021 as I listened to this 
and where I'm at today. I'm a new person, y'all, and uh, I'm happy for it. I'm happy to continue looking at all of these great pieces of music with all of y'all here on the channel and on our Patreon. And uh, it was a pleasure to go back. And thank you, everybody, for watching this one. It's about to hit. My original uh, video here is about to hit 2 million views. And uh, that's the first time any of my videos have gotten to that milestone. And I'm very happy to have that milestone here and to keep going on here with the Daily Doug. But I believe that is all for me this week, my friends. Thank you for hanging out with me, and we'll see you next time on another edition of the Daily Doug. It's the Daily Doug. Welcome to the Daily Doug. The Daily